Hey guys, it's Trev from Duro 4x4. This video is a little bit out of the norm because we went on a cruise recently and I figured there's lots of lots of stuff that people can learn before they get on the ship. So the first video of our Splendor series is on the app, the actual Carnival app, what you can do with it, the ins and outs of it, and it's your Bible while you're on the ship. So let's get into the video. This is the Carnival Hub app. So the app will become your Bible on the ship. We'll go through a lot of what's actually on the app, but a couple of things you need to do before you get on the ship is download the app before you get on the ship. A couple of things to do. Make sure you've linked your card so that any charges can go against your card. If you try and do it when you're on the ship, it absolutely becomes really, really difficult because it's so busy the first couple of days. Um, we decided not to go for the drink pa package because we're not massive drinkers. I think we spent um, 500 bucks for the for the nine days and we pretty much had a cocktail and a, and a drink when we wanted to. So it kind of worked pretty easily. But the app, once you're on the ship, does pretty much everything. You're in and out of it all the time because there is so many activities, different restaurants you can go to, some of the things you can do for free or what you pay for included on the actual cruise. But there's a lot there that you actually pay for as well. So the app actually gives you like a calendar, a daily activity calendar, so that you can write, you can mark down what you want to do on a particular day. So you might want to do a trivia. You might want to do a show, the comedy show, perhaps um, something in Spectacular, Spectacular, the big auditorium. So it can actually, you can actually mark it down. What you can also do, it'll actually remind you of... The, the different activities you've, you've already marked down that you're interested in, which is kind of cool. The other thing you can do, there's a couple of main restaurants where your dinners are included. So you've got the Black Pearl and you've got the Golden Pearl. Now, the Black Pearl is an any, any time type restaurant. The food's really cool. Um, you actually have to book a time. So if you want to have dinner at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, you book it down for how many people you want to do. If you've gone for the fixed meal time, um, the Golden Pearl will be the one that you would go to. So if you're, you've decided you're going to have dinner at 6.30 every night, that'll be the restaurant you'll roll with. But you can, through the app, actually look at it and go, okay, you can look at the menu. Um, you can pick what food you want. There's something different every night. Um, if you want a couple of bread rolls, if you want a couple of entrees, these guys are really cool. Um, they serve you at your table. Really, 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 really good fun. Now, the app... Um, is really cool. Also, um, if you want to have a look at some of the paid restaurants. Now, now my daughter and I, we did the chef's table. Now, that was really, really good. It was about 150 a head, but it was spectacular. We started off in the galley, then we went back for like almost, I guess, a 10-course meal in this private room, and there was 12 of us in the group. Um, they do that nightly, but book early. Um, when you look at the app, you can actually go into the different restaurants you can book. The other thing you can do, there's a full map of the ship on there. So if you get a little bit disorientated, you can look at your app and it'll tell you where you are and where you want to be, which is really easy. Now, if you want to um, look at your expenditure or your ongoing things, so say you bought some pictures, you bought some stuff on in the um, general store area there, some sunscreen, whatever, um, your pictures... You would buy some alcohol, some drinks. You can actually have a look at your activity on the app as well. At any time, you can have a look. You can also do that in your room, on the TV in your room. You can also look up your activity, your spendings on that as well. Now, if there's any specials going, there's always specials. Um, I was on there for a birthday. There were specials there for me. Um, I guess it's like almost birthday presents from Carnival, which was kind of cool. Um, we took them up on a couple of things, which was great. And the app really covered everything. But we were in and out of the app all day, every day. If you want to book things like um, onshore uh, tours and activities, you can do that on the app. Um, you can also do that. There's two desks on the ship. So you've got customer service and you've got the activities counter. So you can book while, while you're on there as well. But what I suggest before you actually get on the boat, have a look at the app. Go through the app. Have a look at the different... Um, activities that are available because they book out pretty quickly, particularly the popular ones. So do all that before you go on the ship. Just have that be prepared. 
but I must stress, link your, your credit card or your debit card before you get on the ship because once you're on, they're really busy, like super busy. And it was one of the traps that we made the mistake. We didn't link our card and we had to do it at the at the service counter and we had to wait in queues, which really sucks. So just make sure you do that. The other thing is um, you, there's pictures everywhere on board. So they're taking photos of you with a frog, with a koala, with a backdrop, a scenic view. Um, these pictures are on level five. You'll see one when we do the video of the walk around. So I've done about four videos, which is a full walk around of pretty much everything on the ship. Um, but yeah, leave yourself time to find your pictures. Um, the other thing is because they don't do facial recognition, they don't do digital, which really, really sucks. Um, I think I think Carnival really need to look at that. If you find your pictures up on the walls on the big photo stands, try and keep them together because you go, oh, I might buy that later on. But then you come back and they're completely moved. And then you spend another half an hour trying to find your photos. So um, they're not cheap. So the photos are not cheap, but they're not digital either. So it, it really is something that um, they really need to look at from a carnival point of view. Um, so I bought probably a couple of hundred bucks worth of photos, but I actually paid extra to have them digital, so I had them on a disc. Now, the Splendor's a really family-friendly ship. Heaps and heaps of activities for the kids to do. You can use the app to select whatever activities you want the kids to do, and it'll send you a reminder, of course, where it is. Now, on the app, there is a map of the ship. It'll show you the locations of where the activities are, which is really handy. Once again, that app is just invaluable once you're on the ship. Now, if you're looking for food options, there is heaps and heaps and heaps of food options. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can use the Black Pearl or the, or the um, Golden Pearl for your evening meals. It's just as easy if you want to go to the buffet and have a, have a meal as well. It's pretty good. Now, during the day... There is stacks of options. Now, you've got the Lido deck. So closest to the middle pool, you have a pizza place and you have a burger place. At the back of the ship or the back of the, the service, you've got Indian food and you've got what I call just near Serenity, what I would call comfort food. You could just go there and have a feed during a day. Now, the first servery, um, which is the one I would usually go to, I go up there in the morning, grab my coffee and go back to the room. The first servery during the day at lunchtime, in the morning it's cooking omelettes, but at lunchtime they do a Mongolian stir fry. You grab your plate, grab a bunch of fresh ingredients, give it to the chef, they'll mix it in and cook it with seafood or lamb or beef or chicken or whatever it might be. Very popular. There is a wait, so pick your times when you do that. Now when you go to the second servery up the back of the ship, um, where you would expect the Mongolian um, stir fry to be, in that same area, because they're fairly identical. You've got a seafood bar, so you can buy lobster and seafood and use that to complement your, your buffet food. On the second servery is also for me, during the day they had the best sweets, the best cakes. There was always something different to load you up. So if you're expecting to lose weight, yeah, nah. Um, there's lots of really cool food. So yeah, there's lots of parties in that Lido deck area where the main pool is. So it's a, a very much a central area. So you've got lobby on level three and the Lido deck. They're two main areas. And there's a, you'll see in my walk arounds, there's, there's lots of places you can go. I will do a heap of videos from this. I've done a full walk around. I couldn't put them on one video. It's raw. It's not like all these with super edited ones. This will be raw. You can see what it actually is. So I hope you join me to have a look at some of these other videos and have a walk around the Splendor. If you decide to do a cruise, it is a ripper ship. We loved it. We did um, the nine-day Pacific cruise. We did LeFou, Mystery Island, and Numea, and we had an awesome time. It was my daughters and my partner. Now, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel, and hopefully um, we'll join you sometime either on a full drive track, camping, or on a cruise. I'm Trevor from 04 4 x 4 Hope you enjoy our video. Thank you.